right, well, I'll start it now. All right, so here's the scenario. <laughs> You're going into surgery, right? Mm -hmm. Weight loss surgery gone wrong. Yeah. What? So he's oh, going no. in for for, sure for weight loss surgery, right? Right. Oh, and shit, we got to wear these. Oh, and they do a prank on him. Put you to sleep for your surgery? Yeah, yeah they do a, like, like a prank on him. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I was kicking in already. You had to go fast. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and put your head back. <laughs> you should be asleep any second now and be ready for your sex change surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here for no sex change surgery. I'm here for a weight loss surgery. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> what if that your wife? Your wife that can't be real. Your oh, that's crazy. Your wife puts a doctor or nurse up to that. How, no, I mean that's hilarious. Off, but what a what a way for your wife to say she cheated on you. <laughs> Sex change. Sorry. So I'll say this: I think that's post surgery probably already, and she's just fucking with him because he's coming out of it. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> that's why he's still like he like even looked is like oh he, no he, that's not he's, real. he's probably they're coming out of it. i that. think they're in their grandmother's hospital bed she has in her house because the hospital <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and they're just doing a fake video like they do with those airplanes <laughs> oh those karen airplanes and she calls mm -hmm. the guy the n-word and the fucking guy <laughs> and then he punches her in the up. face and yeah. then everyone claps and now, just, <laughs> as, as, as not a medical professional that's not a man that's about to go out no he has an earbud in for God's sake. I don't let him wear earbuds all in there. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Take everything off. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Why does he have earbuds? So How did he even hear her say that if he has yeah. earbuds in? They're noise canceling. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> for your sex change. Why don't they let you have earbuds in? That'd be nice to just play music while mm, you're out. They don't want nothing foreign on you. Not true. That would scare the What? The I'm yeah, American. You don't tell me what to do they, with my body. You take off your rings, your necklace, everything, dude. Yeah. You strip fucking butt naked. No, <laughs> no foreigners. <laughs> no foreigners in the operating room. They no say no foreigners allowed. I I would never want to see a video of what they were violently doing my body, like the way they're moving me, like I'm just a piece of meat. I would. I would right. not want to see. They just, so, just to find out what, like why my shoulder hurts. How do they handle bodies when they go to surgery? Um, Are they delicate or do they just like nah, get them over here? They're delicate, man. Yeah, they do not want you to fall. They don't want you to because that's a fucking money. Now dude, that you, that would be a lawsuit if you fucking fell. If they if they treat you like fucking luggage, you had a big <coughs> bruise. Yeah. That's not from the surgical site. They 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 do treat you right. Isn't that crazy? Like, isn't money like I don't want to say the most important thing, but without it, I mean, like or without something to trade. I don't know. I feel like um, money's more important than we think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think money might be the root of all our evils. <laughs> Followed it, it by... solve all of our problems, though. <laughs> I need a new liver, guys. I wonder, the cause of and solution to. I, I, I wonder how many times it's been like somebody's going under surgery and they got like a big titty or a weird dick and somebody just goes, ooh, to their body like unprofessionally. I uh, was told that <laughs> not to say anything about that. <laughs> I was told that when I had surgery, oh my god! And this could just be be my friends fucking with me, but they when they were gonna put a foley cath in me, that the nurses were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't see the bottle. They were stacking their hands <laughs> to decide who was gonna insert who was it. gonna insert the catheter, dude. Uh, guys, this is brought to you by Liquid Death. So it's, they're brand new. <laughs> they, were, they were actually going like this with their finger. <laughs> uh, Josh, he's your friend. Why would you do that to him? I don't know. It was a That's ridiculous a thing. thing for him That's to a weird say. Thing guys, to we're add. not we're not here for no, that. No, no, he's a big boy. He knows what he's saying. <laughs> you, you took an imaginary penis. You took an imaginary penis. No, oh, that's my real penis. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> You're fully erect when the fucking. Technically, you took his tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> we all know he's from circumstance. <laughs> I'll flip it. <coughs> oh, and they said, um, uh, what else they say? <coughs> I don't know. They said I was just packing heat. You know. Yeah. I was like, oh, 
It's good to know people talk, you know. From there, I got super popular. So you were groped in the surgery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he does it for Prince after. <laughs> I'm, I remember waking up like halfway and seeing somebody's forehead. I don't know who's. I was like, what the fuck? They were taking turns blowing me. He just saw a Raiders hat going up and down over his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pushing on it. Did you ever see that movie with uh, the guy from the like Star Wars, the one that plays Darth Vader when he's young and he gets older? I forgot his name. Anyway, he plays in Jesus. a movie. He plays in a movie where he goes under for surgery, but he's awake the whole time and he's trying to act, but the whole time he's like this. And then there's an inner monologue like going, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Did this hurt? Oh my god! Like that's the whole, and it's just. Uh, Is it James yeah. L. Jones or David Prowse? Or? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Black guy oh. or white guy? White guy. Okay. Uh, that narrows it down. Or Hayden Christensen. That is Obi Wan Genobi. Obi Wan Genobi. Obi Wan Genobi. Who do you play for? The Rockets. Obi Wan Genobi, bro. Hey, dude. Only <laughs> Obi Wan Genobi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that left, guy had the a left fucking, hand in his first. <laughs> so he's a fucking Jedi this guy. Part, bro. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Damn, right, we right missed out on a great nickname for him. Hey, he's playing. Yeah. Damn, he Technically, he dude. played Anakin Skywalker, not Darth Vader. But yeah. <laughs> well, he yeah. turns into Hayden him. Later in, yeah, later on, he played him in the uh, German Comic Con. Obi Wan Revenge of the Sith. Rock and At the end, he was Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Uh, I saw the Deadpool movie. What did you think about it? The la- newest one? Yeah. I think there's a lot of baggage attached to it. And if you haven't seen it, uh, you're not going to enjoy it as much. Okay. That hits mm. the nail on the, on the dick. This. I didn't get a lot of the shit that was going 20? on. 20? Yeah. Uh-huh. I just thought it was chaos. Josh, just pay for premium. I know. Everybody's told you me have that. five. Bo- or get an ad block at the very least. Back to movie recaps. Today, I will show you a ah, drama. That's not it. <laughs> oh no no no! Like this is how I watch movies now too. I know, me too. Uh, fully conscious. Mm-hmm. Premise. Like like I, I, saw I t- like what Titanic you're doing. Jo- Josh is being a businessman now. Mm-hmm. He's cutting corners. <laughs> he's fucking. Uh, he's doing everything so that the business functions yeah. properly. I used, to, I used to have a <laughs> boss like that making money. <laughs> I used to have a boss like that. He would he would pick up like like a random paper clip and go, "These are raises, people." <laughs> he's right. <laughs> He's right. Yeah. Let's see what the yeah. movie's called. The Raiders Awake. ever came. <laughs> I'll just play the fucking trailer. There you go. Yeah. It played the fucking <laughs> trailer, dog. Oh, uh-huh. is this what you were talking about earlier? Rated R. So this is Sweeney. Why did my voice go like that? So this is Sydney, Sweden, and Tapas. <laughs> Why don't you take a good look around you, Clay? You're creating jobs. Yeah. You're saving companies. Hey. I, yeah, so, I remember this. Yeah. Is that Terrence Howard? Is it good I didn't see it, but I remember this commercial. What? Am I supposed to be asleep okay. right now? And they're fucking this girl, too, on top of him? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It would be Nothing Terrence Howard died. fucking up a surgery. He's like, two plus two is five. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, he didn't fucking make it out of his <laughs> So what's the movie? His best friend is a, do- is a surgeon, but he's fucking his wife. What do you say? How's one plus one not three? Is that what he said? It's I couldn't I couldn't get past the part where he's just like, oh, uh, uh. He's a horrible voiceover actor. It's the fucking worst. He's not yeah. a great actor in general. So. I don't remember. I don't remember. He, he cried in Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not him. But still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he took her away from me. Yeah, he but what that. was he thinking about that made himself cry like that? I don't know, man. But this that movie would he was be- thinking he was out of liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> That's our sponsor this week, guys. Yeah, he just fell off of movies like he's just our sponsor. It's y'all sponsor. <laughs> now, bro, he won the lottery and uh, now look at him. No, it's like the what's it's his weird, name? Because he looked just like Edward James Olmos as a kid. Josh, I mean, uh, was, it? was it Josh Hartnett? Not Edward James Olmos. Who's it? What about Josh Hartnett? He like he just disappeared after the movie Schlevin or whatever. I think that was the last one. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, but he already yeah. had like a big body. Of he work. did, and then just the faculty. Gone. He made something. Yeah, he's that, done. He made a movie that really bombed at the end, and mm. that's why he went away. I can't remember what it was. Uh, the, and then you he, know, hats off to him. Also, he said some horrible things about black people. So. <laughs> did he? 
<laughs> Let's, <No>. start the... <laughs> Let's just start oh, the rumor. Shit, dude. It would explain a lot. <laughs> Poor, I was going to say Kevin Hart. Poor Kevin Hart. Yeah, he was one of the first. Josh anti- Hartnett. Wow, not even close. Yeah. Yeah. Josh Hartnett was one of the first uh, anti vaxxers, and that's why Hollywood snubbed him. <laughs> <laughs> and he would always wow. touch black women's hair without asking. It's just weird. Like the most, <laughs> like the liberal. You know, the most liberal people, right, Hollywood and whatnot, they just work for the government. Isn't that crazy? I mean, you got to control the movies. What? In order to control the movies, you got to control the movie stars. Yeah. They uh, they take a bunch of money to do, like, propaganda films that we don't even, you know. I don't believe it's everything, but I believe Iron everything Eagles? is possible. Mm. Now, apparently, I live in a fucking simulation because uh, yeah. <coughs> cause, cause this ja- is getting ridiculous. Jaguar right? um... What she told us, she told us, dude. <laughs> Jay Z and P Diddy, dude, they did it. <laughs> well, yeah, crazy shit like that. It's like Epstein Island. Fucking your government does crazy shit. Mm-hmm. But everybody uh, knew this stuff. People knew this is people knew the way that people knew about Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like this is how like the Nazis found out that they weren't cool. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Fuck! We did kill actually. how many people? Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, it's like what is that skit? Uh, are we the baddies? <laughs> Are we the bodies? <laughs> yeah, we're just realizing, oh, we're the bad guys. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Are this- Slave labor is like something I've made peace with. What? I got an iPhone. Yeah. I got a fucking pants. Yeah, <laughs> this hat, this hat, just was all made. pants are made. Just, the, 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 the cameras that you're, dude, using these cameras are made by magic. children, bro. They were made in Australia by Mm-mm-mm-mm. by uh, by Australians. How much do they get paid? Australian for B. <laughs> <laughs> they get paid in Vegemite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my little my little little Filipino kid hands. They're the only ones delicate enough to handle the parts. <laughs> wow. Well. Um, I'm not. A, I'm not saying we gotta use it. We gotta just, use. We don't have to use slaves. TVs. Just don't let me, I mean, everything. Why, yeah. Why do you think all TVs? These cords, all this shit. The road shit you got. Yeah. Why do you think a 20 inch TV used to be ten thousand dollars, and now you can get a 60 inch for three hundred? Tariff. Yeah. yeah right. True. It's wild. Right. I thought it was because of tariff. No. Before they were made here, and now they're not. The thing so. is, you can still get a big screen, flat screen for like ten thousand dollars, but then they also got one next to it that I can't really pronounce. Mm-hmm. And that's like for like eight hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, but then what happens is the, the sun, scene, the hint sun shines on it, and you can't really watch your movie in the, during the day. Doesn't matter. I save two thousand dollars. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm gonna put it in the room without windows. Yep. I mean, uh, pull that I, curtain, honey. I'm an emotional <laughs> dork enough where if I had the money and I knew something was more expensive because it was made here, I would I would buy it just because I'm a soft dork at heart. But that's only if I had the money. Right now, it's like, dude, if. Fucking hit uh, Hitler. <laughs> I was trying to look for something <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> if Gaddafi, who's also dead, <laughs> oh, if he seen... made them and they were priced right, I would buy it from him. Have you seen, have you seen that video? What? Uh, oh, of him getting stabbed in the ass? Um, yeah. I've never seen it. I refuse Up to see ass. it. I just don't want to, dude. Why do you want that image in your head? I, call it being I like it one in my head. Sorry, but we're all connected. <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Why would you want to put yourself through to that? Feel his pain to never become a dictator. <laughs> it's like those drunk driving videos you see. You're like, oh my god, I'll never get a DUI. Yeah. Also, to not sleep in a tent when I'm on the run. <laughs> and you're you watching the videos you're driving. <laughs> or have an all female security that's super hot. Mm-hmm. What happened all to female them? security? I don't know. They but just got I mean, they're gonna like, stick out. Nice. If you got a bunch of armed women. Yeah. That's that sticks out immediately. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. What the fuck? First of all, how the, fucking arrogant. <laughs> first of all, the, uh, they're always asking for directions. Second, <laughs> no, all seven of them. It was like seven of them, I think, right? Yeah, dude. So they, they, they can never decide where they want to eat. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> they couldn't agree on it. So by, by wings pur- or sushi, pick one. Come on. <laughs> by purchasing I, these products, does that that means you are forced <laughs> slavery then? Slave labor, not slavery. Yeah. What's the difference? They pay him. Very minimal. Yeah. <laughs> enough where they can live, but not enough to get out no, of it. No, just I, enough I to make me feel comfortable. Distinction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, they pay just I, enough just to be like, to, hey, they're getting paid. I don't for, think the slavery job, part was the payment. I think it was you had to do it or die. Well, well technically, technically, they're yeah. wage slaves in that sense, and there's yeah. no other job. Yeah, because yeah. you yeah. could starve. 
Yeah. You could. You don't have to work. Then you is there starve. people who are slaves in America? Because wouldn't that be the same thing? If you some have people would to say work? so. Yeah, yeah. Dude, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're, but they're not doing important the whole prison uh, yeah. prison industry or whatever. Yeah. So if I buy something that they made, aren't am I not helping the prisoners? No. You're I helping the so. company that makes them. They'll have to make something else. Before they were just cleaning up highways, and now they do that. Mm. And in fact, you're hurting the prisoners because they don't want them to leave, so they don't lose their labor. I heard labor. this one where they're making uh, yeah. prisoners work at McDonald's. Is that true? No. I've never heard of that. I go to McDonald's maybe twice <laughs> a week. That sounds more like breakfast. a Carl's Jr. situation. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that would change like is the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's Jr. They're yeah. so delicious. Well, they're just, they yes. are, but they're worth, he has to go dress as Grimace. He just, just has his Holy mouth taped. Shit. They did. Or the burglar guy. The McDonald's participated in prison in sourcing in the 1990s and 2000s. Other companies that participated in prison sourcing were Whole Foods, Target, and IBM. Damn, hey, look at that bottom part, too. I believe Target, bro. I saw a guy with a neck tattoo. Yeah, but I think it's different <laughs> no, for I them. No, I didn't say I was going to read it. That's <laughs> different for them, though, because down and read it to me. they're not still in the prison doing manual labor. Wow. Yeah. They're getting to leave the prison and be out in no, the world. It says right here they're leasing the prisoners. My reading which, has regressed. No, I know that, but I'm telling you it's just a different situation. Like, I think if I was a prisoner it's called priorities. and my two, my two uh, uh, options were to be like in the yard, mm-hmm. <laughs> or huh. I can go to a McDonald's for eight hours a day. But then you can't eat any of the food. <laughs> no, who cares about I, you're, I was, you're just not in the prison. I would still yeah. nugget, about. bro. I would do yeah. the extra time. Watch me, dude. Yeah. I will eat <laughs> the fuck out of some shit. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the time me and Blair were at a McDonald's and we saw a guy quit? No. <laughs> What? So we were at a McDonald's on uh, on Blair's side of town. <laughs> <laughs> For the people watching, Blair is he's black. He's black. He's black as fuck. And the manager was white. The rest of the employees were not. Oh my god! And she just started dressing him, uh, this guy down. I think his name was like, like Carl or some shit. I yeah. remember. But uh, like Carl, you know you're not supposed to do that. You know you need to put these this way. You know you just can't leave. The th- and the guy just got tired of hearing it like 10 seconds in uh-huh. and just took off his headset <laughs> and then got an empty paper bag and just started filling it with shit. Oh, hell yeah. Dude. <laughs> he was oh, like, Carl, nice. Carl, what are you doing? You can't, huh? No, you, what are you, no, you can't just leave. And he yeah. just got another bag, filled that bag up, and then just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> peaced out. <clears throat> Fuck it. Yeah, and y'all were just watching this like unfold. Yeah, we hadn't I hadn't even gotten my food yet. Oh <laughs> Carl my took God. my food home with him and it was just okay. Oh shit. We gotta make all new nuggets. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. But that was the best quit I've that's ever a, seen in my life. That's the best way to quit. I'm like, oh well now this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna yell at me, lady? <laughs> just eating fries, like watch his yell at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a certain point in my life where I where I realized that. Just because a person is at work doesn't mean he won't fight you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and car sales, we that would happen at least every other month where they'd yeah. be like, hey, let's go over here, buy the fucking Prius C's, and we're going to fuck you. Y'all are amped up on like what? testosterone and drugs, all kinds of shit. Yeah. Oh, but you mean fighting other employees. Yeah. No, I mean an, like, like a customer won't fight you or the, the employee won't fight the customer. I went like, to Waffle House. Like time. a customer, it's like being rude. Yeah. yeah, and you just think, oh, he's working here. He can't fight me. That like, happened just, at the gym too. Yeah, like he like he won't <laughs> just take off his headset and beat the shit out of you. Yeah, those like, are the rough ones. I was like, 12. Jack in the Box is notorious yeah. for. Yeah, how many times I've had my uh, my food handed to me with, with like by a sleeve <laughs> <coughs> of just like these prison tats and shit. Just like here you go, bro. I'm like fuck. Yeah. But but you know what, guys yeah, like same that. Same chemicals. Anyway, if I see a, still a, good. a guy t- tattooed like that. And I continue to go there, and he's been there two years. I know that shit's on point because all he's thinking is like, "This is the process. Do the process." Versus somebody nah, who dude, you're just, just young, Brett justifying your fucking. How am I uh, justifying? Right, you but you're also not going to talk down. shit to that guy because yeah. you, know. you know he'll make have enough and just follow you home one time. Yeah. I wouldn't talk shit to and any fuck of them. Your face. That's true. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to hey motherfucker, I'm gonna order number twelve. You got my fucking num <laughs> <laughs> I want a curly fries, you dumb piece of shit. shit. I wait about two weeks and then I go back to the place and chances are that, that person's not there anymore. Like Burger Boy, there's always somebody new working there. Burger Fight, uh the manager used to go to uh the blind tiger all the time. Mm. And he knew who you were. He listened to the podcast, he knew who you were, he knew where I was. <laughs> See, I don't like that, dude. Why? 
Cause man, these people think that they know you and shit. Yeah. <laughs> they try to they try to take you away from your wife. <laughs> <laughs> they try to take away from your wife. You told me that. No, I didn't say anything about that. Oh, uh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> people are messaging you. Still? I don't like going to a Jack in the Box in the Hood. They do a terrible fucking job, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jack in the Box is one of the worst when it's in the hood. No. A&W. But you know why? Is because you're not tipping them. Yeah, you're also not no, no, buying no. weed. If, if <laughs> That's I, what I'm saying. If I go, <laughs> if I go to Jack in the Box, I'll drive to the good side of town oh. to get it from that Jack in the Box. You, you know what's on point? Doesn't matter where you go in the city. In fact, if you go to a worse area, it's better. Mm. Taco Cabana. I agree with that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Taco Cabana's pretty good. Doesn't sometimes. matter where you go; it's still gonna be good. They refuse to make it the bad way. No, dude, right. Taco Cabana is Taco Palenque is way yeah. better. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's way Mama better. Margie's, bro. Also better than Taco Cabana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess it's just too expensive for what it is. That I also agree with. But I trust it though. <laughs> like Taco Palenque, I've gotten some runny beans, bro. Mm. Just like, oh, I think no, some people a, like them runny though. I think that's why they did some know. something in your brain where like Mama Margie's. Mm-mm. It's something warm. What? Now. Yeah, there's no reason <laughs> like, it should be that food? expensive. There's no reason it should be that expensive. No, it, you're paying for the area. They pay higher taxes over there. <laughs> oh, it's in Animal Heights, right? No, it's over there of thirty-five. Oh. Yeah. They they used to one they used to be better which is what everyone says but yeah. uh, it is still better than Taco Cabana but it is not worth like the fifteen dollars for the two taco plate yeah <clears throat> yeah man I don't like that shit man my girl likes it I just gotta go what I do is I just go to the, make, serve yourself salsa bar and fill up like a oh, big I had, I had that Taco Cabana I just pour it all out and I got my money back I I always think I'm like man I'm up here waiting because because every time I go to like TC's bro hmm. I'm like fade out of my fucking mind it's like <laughs> Midnight do, and shit. Do, do you abbreviate your fast foods? Oh yeah, I, I can't stand that. Uh, my my kids, they're uh, we want to go to Starbies. Let's go to Starbies. Starbies is annoying. Yeah, mm. and my daughter does it, and I laugh, and then my son does it, and I go, "Stop that!" Damn, <laughs> oh. he's rowdy misogynist, dude. That's crazy. Dad, I want Starbies. You want Starbucks, son? Yeah, dude. Starbucks. Starbucks. In fact, you don't. Put some you bass want, in your voice. You want a beer and some pussy, son? Yeah. Starbucks <laughs> and <mean hitters. laughs> gun. <laughs> you want to gun some pussy and we've, some fucking We whiskey. visited family and everyone's just like, oh, your mustache. Oh, you're getting taller. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, yeah. If you were a king, you'd be a tyrant, huh? <laughs> well, oh, no. I mean, <laughs> were they talking to you? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No, they kept telling you me. You little like, pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> I just got out of the oh, pool, mom. <laughs> 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 No, because he has a mustache and his aunts hadn't seen him in a while, and they're all short, so he's taller than them now. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm like you're becoming a man. He's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, 27 years. <laughs> so and it. then he thought he was super cool because uh, it was the 40 year anniversary of my parents, so they had shot glasses. People took shots, so he took one of the shot glasses and he kept putting putting lemon juice in there and like. Uh, not lemon juice, uh, lemonade what? in there. Vinegar? Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> Straight vinegar, dude. Doing shots of lemon juice would be pretty textured over here. There's a lot of bean juice, actually. They was rubbing in his eyes. It's a habanero sauce. I just want to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Grandma and Grandpa. And then, I, and then I ruined his fun because I called him out in front of everybody. And I yeah. was like, hey, you keep taking shots like you're getting drunk. Are you getting drunk? And I saw him kind of pretend. He's like, no, no. Oh, my I don't, God. I don't like drugs. And I'm like... I'm starting to notice. And you're all like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you like drugs. Oh, they caught Jordan Sun doing that on the yacht. Really? Holy shit, dude. Yeah. That's the new debate. Who's the GOAT, LeBron or Jordan? Because LeBron's son is in the NBA. Mm. Jordan's son is doing coke on a boat. <laughs> Jordan's son knows he'll never be as great as Jordan. That's because his father like, said it. fuck it. I'm going to fucking do coke. Wow. Bronny doesn't know that right. yet. Also, yeah. Uh, Jordan Jordan is better. I already have more championships when they were harder to get. Yeah. When, when you like, couldn't make an all-star team. Yeah. Yeah. When chopping someone in the throat was legal. There yeah. we go. Oh. That, is that a restaurant? or no, I don't know. Why, why did I think he was on a boat? That's fucking Zyrtec, bro. <laughs> My. Damn. That's how I, I, I would look <laughs> after, after, like, the after, like, man, everything is amazing, huh? <laughs> man, dude, that's a mimosa. Who's me right now? That's a oh mimosa and God, eggs. Oh, my God. This dude is having an amazing time. With watermelon, too. Oh. <laughs> You had to make it racist. I didn't make it racist. That's mimosa, no. eggs, and watermelon. That's a good so breakfast. You had to point oh, out the watermelon. Hell yeah, dude. 
And no, like the way you said, watermelon. And the watermelon. Too. I didn't watermelon. say it like that. Nah, yo, <laughs> it's a me. melon. You said it with that, of course, in your voice. Who doesn't? <laughs> and, uh, watermelon. If the best fruit to eat with your breakfast is either bananas or watermelon. Yeah, some kind of melon. You correct? I don't know, some yeah. berries. I like some berries. True. Oh, and I start raspberry, blueberry medley. Actually, I'm not really into yeah. fruit in the morning. I'm not. I'm not a berry person. Some pineapple. Yeah, some mango. mango. Dick person. <laughs> or mango. I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> yeah, fuck berries. I like dick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And he's that. with white Look women. Oh, Big titty white dick <laughs> right there. Oh Why the fuck God. would you bother with a basketball career if that's already available to wait, you? Wait, wait. Exactly. Scroll down. Scroll down. They got better pictures here. I don't know. Oh, shit. That one, that one, that one. Yeah. Hey, I, this is the greatest photographer ever. Yeah, this guy's this is, winning. So this was the debate right here. They're like, God bless. James Jr., he's in the NBA, and Jordan's son, cocaine. Yeah, so what? What does that have to do with their dads? Yeah. How they how they raised them. How they, yeah, uh, yeah. LeBron raised James Jr. Okay. <laughs> have you ever heard of a scandal of LeBron cheating on his wife? No, because they have fucking people to fucking tie all that Scrub shit. the internet, yeah. Could also, it, didn't he have like three kids in high school? <laughs> so. With this, the girl who was married he to He needed to make it. He's, yeah. he, he, I'm man. sure he'd stop fucking after that. No, he was yeah. having sex he with his wife. Like six, eight, and. <laughs> no, I didn't say having sex. I said he stopped fucking. Six, eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no he, he had. He had a, this, is where, that, this is where spin teams existed. Oh, my where, God. Yeah. They yeah. had him on rotation when he was in high school. Yeah, anyone, anytime he was fucking, he had an NDA that had to get signed. He had all kinds of shit covering his ass. The GOAT debate is so... No, but that's not going to end well for that dude. No, but <laughs> he's going to end say. fun. James yeah. Jr. has never had a carb. This guy is fucking living life. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you want to hang out with? Yeah, but he's that's like, why I believe Jordan is, is the best. <laughs> like, man, I because Jordan my was, the, was, the, not the, was the lesser Damn. father... Damn, Which is why he was that much better because he mm. didn't even have time those, for his kids. Those, you know yeah. what? You made the point. The best kings were always the worst fathers. So Jordan right. is the goat. Damn. But is LeBron a great father? Up to twenty years, yeah. On like, paper, he is. Whoa. But he's always doing <laughs> shit. He's, he wasn't at home. Like he, he literally did not he have time to be his home son with his kid. into the NBA. Yeah, because it's his son. Exactly. That's a great. Dad, dude. How, how, how good is he playing? That, that that's not the point. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying he I'm, got a nepotism higher. Like like yes. Uh, they, I got Sofia Coppola into the NBA. We're going to have Jordan, lesser NBA players thanks to LeBron James. The games are going to suck in five years. It's going to be everyone's fucking kids. No, that aren't that the good. Europeans yep. will make it better again. What I'm Jordan, saying, Jordan sacrifices dad. Man, we all know Damn. that. Damn. <laughs> sure. they, they tried to fuck LeBron's mom. He moved teams. Dude. He did. He's like, I'm not going to sacrifice mom. He didn't sacrifice his mother. He had wow. debt, and the mob took him out, allegedly. That's yeah. what it was. So he didn't no, sacrifice. Him. He didn't have debt. But Le they were trying to fuck LeBron's mom, and he was like, I'm moving they teams. They did. Delonte West yeah. fuck LeBron's mom. And what happened to Delonte West? He's on the. Is he dead now? I don't know. Look, back look on the up streets. Delonte West. He's back on the streets. Real quick, before I do that. And LeBron switched teams. Th this is crazy. Should have named my son Dude, Delonte. He didn't switch teams. He kicked them <coughs> off the team and mm. then moved to Miami. That's what I'm saying. He has his dad's logo on his chest. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's not, that's not even. He Actually, has LeBron has his dad's logo, too. A chain tattooed. That's how you know, bro. Around his neck. You think people would look at me weird if, I, if my son's name was Octavion? <laughs> I kind of like it. Actually. Not not after seeing your mom's Last Supper, they'd be like, "That makes sense." <laughs> I think they would. I think, they would if, I think if you were alone, like if you were or your wife were alone, and they said, "Oh, it's Octavian," I think they would have a different picture in their head of who the other parent was. Oh, right, right, right. You know yeah, I mean? <laughs> yeah. He's, he's back. Like on. they would look up for sure. Like, <laughs> okay, he's back. Yeah. On, he's back on. They the invite street. us to your next yeah, see, barbecue. That, this or is whatever why. You... And when they <laughs> met you, they were like, "What?" <laughs> That's Punch why I don't that trust LeBron. LeBron's a piece of shit. Yep. He won't even do it directly. Yep. He's not a he's not a real person. He's an entity at this point. Oh, you want to fuck my mom? Everybody hated Jordan. They all got rings. The, the, the only yeah. thing that I'll, I'll say about LeBron that was bad was uh, he's like whatever China told him to do, he would do. Yeah. So he's I get I get that. Whatever part. who told him? China. 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 Like, oh. Like yeah. he wouldn't say. Uh, he wouldn't say Taiwan. Well, yeah, he wouldn't say Taiwan. Josh is such and a then patriot, in Space man. Jam, yeah. they took out some certain characters. Homophobic patriot. What? I'm not homophobic. <laughs> oh, you, hell yeah, bro. What are you talking about? I'm not homophobic. He's the perfect American. <laughs> <laughs> if you were so homophobic, you wouldn't have so many guys he's blown. <laughs> I'm on your side. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you, but doing it for money and having, like, what you do. He's homophobic, business oriented. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's driven. <laughs> 
My homophobia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who are you saying about LeBron? I don't know what you're talking um, about. <laughs> I forgot what, what the point was about LeBron. <laughs> anyway. On, in other news, uh, I got my oh, cyber the, truck the, order the, in. The, sorry, the, pick, the people in Space Jam is what you're talking about. I forgot. What, yeah. Um, so certain sure. character they couldn't have. Yeah, they took out Pepe Le Pew. They left in the rapist from Hawkwork Orange. Orange, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. And it. It was in there, too. Yeah. I'm like, he eats kids. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, that might be a little worse. A little worse than Pepe. So, if you, it, anyway, all I'm trying to say is if you support LeBron James, you are a monster. No, not at all. <laughs> yes, you are. No, if I support Dennis Rodman, I'm a monster. No, what's he doing with his money? Just what? keeping it. Dennis he's going to North Rodman, Korea. Bro, come yeah, on, no, dude. but he's doing that to keep them from bombing us. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's doing more to put his name and his penis friend. in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Stupid ass. When you said that, I pictured it in your mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What the fuck is wrong with you? Would you look up? What? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Not that. I wouldn't do it. I, I think you would look up. <laughs> That's a very sneaky trick question, right? I know. Because either way, I'm doing it in this scenario. <laughs> no, I wouldn't look up. All right. Yes, I would look up. Like, are you brave? Oh, so you're just in for love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I, got I would my, do it once. I, I got my uh, my order for my Cybertruck. Oh, good for you, man. What does that mean? You got your order? That could mean a lot of things. So in 2021, I yeah, ordered a Cybertruck. Yeah, I know this. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just got an email saying your Cybertruck is ready, mm, and so awesome. uh, I'm supposed to buy a Cybertruck. Yeah. I do not have the money for a Cybertruck. Yeah, you do. I do not. <laughs> Get rid of one of the kids. <laughs> You thought about it. Oh, you evil bitch. No. <laughs> yeah, That's what that lap was for. But my, <laughs> my wife is getting a new job. Uh-huh. And I'm trying to convince her to trade her car in for the side mm-hmm. truck. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a business. So you could drive it every now and then? Or no. What? So we can we can put it on Toro. Yeah. Yeah. To make it, to flip it? No, you don't flip it. People rent it per day. Oh, dude. You and, can charge a lot for that. That's yeah. how you get COVID. Uh, you could probably, yeah. He doesn't believe in that, though. Mm. Wow, dude, I'm sorry, man. They they look fucking stupid as fuck, bro. So you can get like no, but people. I might have a fucking weird opinion. Anyway, about you can get you can get He's like a businessman. Like You're not thinking like a businessman, fuck, bro. That looks go ahead, so Josh. stupid, dude. Tell See, us your quarterly. I'm sorry. So let's say I'm just gonna rent it for one day, two forty five. It's such for a pipe a, dream for one day. Two forty five total. Two hundred forty five dollars. You do that? Let's say let's, what? Seven times in a month? Let, let's say let's say I seven rent, times in a month. No, I, I'm, times I'm gonna pimp that out. I'm worth it. I'm a Cybertruck pimp. So let's say I do just two weeks out of two weeks out of the month. Yeah, ten times. That's an extra two grand after paying insurance and the vehicle. Mm-hmm. I'm having a profit of about twelve hundred dollars. That's that's a good profit after uh, people throwing up in my cyber truck and no, having to pay because then I can charge them like four fifty just like Uber. Mm. Wow, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just because uh, this is exciting. I hope you go through with it. I'm, I, I want to see like I think it's a bad be, investment. This would be dude. amazing. So that's you what my, pulled it off. I mean, that's what my father said. It's a bad investment. What kind of licensing do you, do you need for this? Like, like a taxi license? No, have you no, no. Everything it's up? it's through Toro. Toro is a service. All you have to do is register your vehicle. They set all the appointments. They do all that shit, and then that person uh, <laughs> they sold you on this shit. You, you sent you you drive over. You <laughs> give them the car. Really details. You give them the car. Get everything for you. They have twenty four hours with the vehicle, and with cyber trucks, I can see everything in the vehicle because it's all being recorded. <clears throat> yeah, no, he's uh, he's pivoting because when he made the, I remember when he made the order, mm-hmm. it's because he thought I'll have the money by then. No, oh, yeah, yeah. But now he's pivoting to like, no, it's a money maker. It's a it cash is. flow business. It is a but cash flow. Business. I do remember uh, no. when you told me that it was going to do that. Yeah, they're like they're going to make them automated, and so I'll be able to. This is where Elon fucked blah, blah, blah. me, and now they're doing that. This is where Elon fucked me. He um. He, oh, never mind. He, the oh, robo taxi. Told you. The robo taxi is not happening with the cyber truck. Mm-hmm. So the van is. Yeah, he has the van, and he has like another robo taxi. This one. This yeah. is the robo taxi. He has this in the van, and so the cyber truck is not it. But Toro, that's the robo taxi, right? But what are the three shells for, though? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. So I bad idea. Uh, what do you think? I I think you can make money off of it. Yeah, in, in, in Austin for sure. Yeah, I see them all over the place. And these, <laughs> oh, uh, maybe it's oversaturated then. Uh, I mean, people still want to drive them. Yeah. 
So rent it out. I mean, half the. He's got to make sure you're not upside down on your insurance. But half the month. No, no, no. So with insurance, with renting, with, with the monthly payment, I'm still coming, just renting it a half the month. I still come uh, home with twelve hundred dollars. Right, but say the guy so never drive it. Say the guy and Toro yeah. wrecks it. Right. Oh, what then I'm fucked. Then? Yeah. Well, the insurance, <laughs> the insurance will, will, my insurance would cover that. But still, yeah, it, it would it'd probably hurt a little bit. At least those weeks that it's getting repaired and I can't use it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had to excuse you myself. Still guys. Make the payment on it. All this liquid death. Why would I really... miss a payment on it? You can't miss a payment on it. They'll take it. No, no I'm saying, and you, you're not using it, and you're still like have to make a payment on it. But I'm getting twelve hundred dollars a month. Yeah. So it's a <clears throat> money maker. So you're like never driving it. I drive it. I drive it two weeks out of the month. You would drive it every day, even though it's being used. Like, Especially like a on the whore? weekend. On the weekend, I can charge even more on the weekend. <clears throat> so maybe I just run it out every weekend. And what's your wife gonna do for car? She doesn't have to drive a car on the weekend. On the weekend. Yeah. But during the week. During the week, she can take my truck, and I'll drive. Oh, sorry, you're gonna give, you're gonna quit after you're she starts work. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you're losing a day having to clean it. A day? I have to clean. It takes a whole day to clean it. Yeah. Well, you can't just give to the next person right away. No, yeah. I would take it to a service. I'd get a monthly service. Shampoo they're, the carpet. They're usually about $500. No, you don't shampoo the carpet because it's plastic on the bottom. You just got to take that out. But you can do like a, a wash wow. tub, like three to $500 monthly uh, membership. Overhead? Yeah, some overhead. But still, I'm basically coming oil home with about 1000 There's no oil changes. Yeah, me. plus if they make it dirty, you can charge them a fee for that. They got to bring it back clean. Wait, there is oil changes, right? Yeah, oil changes. Yeah, is there oil changes? I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, why? I don't know if they have that type of engine. I don't know enough about cyber trucks. It's just like lube I can buy from the store. It's electric, but yeah. it's not that type of engine. So. I know. That's what I was. I don't how think. do the wheels move? How does everything? Imagine. But that's not what an oil change does, though. <laughs> you gotta change some some kind of oil on it. Right? You gotta change something. I'm sure. Transmission but oil, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Is it tr- transmission fluid? <laughs> But it doesn't. It doesn't have pistons, so it's not going to have that. No, type Tesla Cybertrucks do not require traditional oil changes because yeah. they traditional are electric. Oil changes. They need a. They need to redo the plugs though every once in a while. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and you got to refill the tampon holder. There you go. Refill a tampon holder. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. That's the only part oh, that would suck. HEPA filter. That's the only. Uh, it's like an air filter. Yeah. Yeah. Filter. Yeah. Oh, they also have that. So if there's like um, uh, a tack. Yeah, there's a thing on Teslas where you can do a, a filter, and it filters 99.9 percent of the air, so whatever poison on the outside doesn't yeah, come inside. Yeah, like it, it, it just makes you sick. And if the power goes out, I can use it as a um, generator. Like a generator. Yeah. yeah, these are all good things that I've been telling my wife, it's and I've made presentations. Yeah. You can also do some of that <sighs> with a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, but this is a Cybertruck. It's bigger, and the battery's bigger. Mm. And it's bulletproof, right, or something? It is bulletproof up to nine millimeters, but anything larger than that, it's gonna go right through it. No, oh, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Isn't a regular car the same? Yeah. <laughs> no, a regular car with nine millimeter will go right through the door. No, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, it would. Let's go upstairs. Just <laughs> <laughs> on your truck. <laughs> bah, bah, fuck. <clears throat> what does LeBron James have to say about this? A nine millimeter. Yes, a nine millimeter bullet can shoot through a car door. Uh. Yeah, dude. How do you think the, well, the window was up or down? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, because it adds a little extra. No, I know, but it's, just, it's a fun reason. It's through a. Dude, you... Obviously, I was joking as if, if the window's down, of course it'll go through. <laughs> Cybertruck. Uh, no, a 9mm round should not be able to penetrate Tesla Cybertruck. Who's your source? This is this AI, AI overview. Google Hamster. <laughs> yeah, AI Overview. The very same people that make that product. It's the Tesla answering for it, by the way. It, it's three millimeters thick of stainless steel. That's not a lot of thickness. So it take a forty-five caliber pistol, a twenty-two caliber rifle. Damn. Who's trying to shoot at you, Josh? No, it's just cool to have a bulletproof vehicle. Yeah, we'll see how cool it is. Drive by that neighbor. The only thing is, yeah. they didn't make the 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 glass bulletproof because people they're scared that people would like. Burn inside them if it like catches on fire or something, which happens with electric vehicles sometimes. Yeah, god damn. Yeah, well, it's bulletproof, but it's an egg proof. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it funny that okay, you have an uh, an electric vehicle, 
But the tires are made of oil. All the plastics in the car is made of oil. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's not really slowing down production that much. No, and all the minerals it takes to make that big ass battery. That battery, yeah. you know. I, yeah. But I don't think he makes those to be to, uh, socially conscious. I think he's doing it as an alternative to car manufacturing. Mm. Yeah. Just because eventually we will just be out of gasoline, and he wants to be ahead of the game. I don't think we will be though. I well, they will. If they have fifteen minute cities. Mm. So then you know you just. You just stay in your little town, your little area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he's trying to start to be like more efficient, not necessarily better for the environment. I thought he just wanted a badass bulletproof a, truck. He's a crazy. No, person, but the whole right? idea of Tesla is what I'm saying. Like oh, not. Yeah. Like he wasn't like I'm going to save the world. He's like I'm just all an electric car because mm. I just want a better electric car. He said I couldn't. Yeah. And I'm going to bone that girl that shit in Johnny Depp's bed. <laughs> <laughs> Got her pregnant. Got a baby. The fucking, yeah, pregnant with the baby. That guy's a wild bad dude. I'll smoke weed with Joe Rogan for no reason. My kids saw the rocket from my parents' house. Oh. Uh, yeah, when it landed mm-hmm. and shit, and it shook the fucking house, and we're sixty miles away from it. Wow. Yeah. Where are you doing in uh, Houston? Westlake. Oh, but really? it's in Brownsville. That's Whoa, the, really? Yeah, and you're like sixty miles away, and it shook the house. <sighs> Shit, man. All the people in Brownsville are complaining that the rockets are too loud and shit. <laughs> and that, that everything that what they said? <laughs> and that everything's too expensive. Yeah, now, I mean, now they're complaining. You nobody's gonna them. give a fuck about him, dude. No. Yeah. Yeah. Those dude. I know, there, somebody so. should. Yeah. yeah. Right? But I think they're just gonna think, what, the Mexicans don't care that we're going to Mars? Get yeah. the fuck out of here. <laughs> Mexico, it's all broken English. Mexicans is <laughs> complaining about things being too loud. <laughs> I <laughs> Señor, este, okay. I can hear my, my, my uh, pitch, uh, video, the fire over here. It's all <laughs> fucking booms and pops. Pinche <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> he went to the... Uh, okay, oh. Lotte. <laughs> <laughs> che, Lotte Musk. <laughs> He went out to I the festival it. in uh, Brownsville, and that's him eating the chips. <laughs> oh! Why is he eating them like that? I, I, don't know. I, I think he's spitting them out. Why not? Yeah, it looks like he's oh. like reverse Pringle canning. That's how I eat any product. <laughs> you know, his 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 thing, like, so it's two different sides. Like, I'm like, yo, we were chilling with Elon Musk, bro. It's crazy. He's like, and his side of the story is like, oh, man, I was in, like, some village and shit. <laughs> yeah. like, and we were totally out there with Elliot Page. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elliot Page. Holy <laughs> fuck. He looks like Elliot Page, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Do, do you think her look came from him? Oh, no. I think they inspired each oh, other. Oh, shit. It is like a more, uh, like a twink version of uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk. A twink version. Of... <laughs> That's the name of my book. Is, is it? A twink version. Is it still Elliot? Yeah. Oh, saying. shit. Right? Look at it's that. Elon Musk Jr. Look, that's the biopic, dude. <laughs> we just have to, you know, he talks all weird and shit. <laughs> My dad's kind of an asshole. <laughs> I mean, she already had a like a big forehead, and now it's. I had to take care of my mom growing up. <laughs> he has a six pack. Yeah, yeah. He's, missing yeah the, he's, been, he's missing the two pack. I mean, shit, I'm gonna get on testosterone too, bro. Are fuck, you? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Drugs, dude. What the fuck are we doing? Trying to play by the rules and yeah. all that shit. I'm, I'm, I haven't even been playing. To be honest, let's all do HGH. Are you really guys really want to do it? Yes, please. Wait, do you have yes, some with you right now? Are you out of your fucking mind? No, yes, let's dude. do it. I don't want to fucking die. Dude, no, you got to. Dude, all it. the poison that's in our food, dude, you we're yeah. already at a disadvantage, yeah. dude. Yeah. Got to fight with it. It's so much. It's. What is it? What's the it's one? It's not the, the long one. Of the time is the quality of the time, bro. We're going to be syrup. diesel, dude. What is it? High fructose corn syrup. Mm. Mm. Apparently, that shit is like straight up poison, dude. Yeah, but it's only until we die. <clears throat> Man, but it tastes so yep, good, though, dude. Testosterone. Replacement therapy. He just bought a six-pack of Coca-Colas, too. Damn. Yeah. I've been on Coke Zero for, like, a couple <laughs> years. Dude, no. I have you to know what doesn't have it? Uh, have the they have sponsorship. Liquid Death, everybody. <laughs> this week's sponsor. No preservatives. That's right. <laughs> Pure, clean, Himalayan. <laughs> Man, it's all marketing, dude. So Fuck, it, I'm an idiot. Testosterone replacement therapy. It's not steroids. So you can get like a patch, put it on like you a got patch? Di- diabetes. Like I'm on the pill? Yeah. I'll tell you this. There's two sons that we were talking about earlier. One of them needs that and the other one does not. <laughs> I'll tell you which one does not is Michael Jordan's. <laughs> That's true, yeah. That, that guy's got enough for everybody. 
When when do testosterone levels drop? When you get older, uh, injury to Between testicles. Between thirties and forties, yeah. fuck. <laughs> and apparently, that uh, the the most important time to work out is between the ages of 35 and 45. Fuck. Because if you don't out. work out between those ages, you, you're just, after 45, you just age like shit. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was <laughs> Case 40. <in> 40. <laughs> That's not true. Look at, uh, uh, who is it? Name one sexy RFK? Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at RFK, dude. He's fucking cock diesel right now. I'm saying Donald that. Trump, he's not a fat guy, dude. <laughs> Luckily, I worked out between thirty-five and forty. He's just—he's uh, just a big person. I try to work out in the garage with some weights. I just feel stupid. Mm. The period between T. So while it's beneficial to exercise at any age, the period between thirty-five and forty-five is Josh, often considered the most all important <laughs> time to prioritize regular workouts because this is when natural muscle loss. Starts to accelerate. No, no, no. Say, say that word. What what word? That's why Batista so, got so skinny. So sarcopenia. Making strength training crucial to maintain physical function as you age. So right mm. now is the most important time for us to take testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> for, sure. <laughs> for sure. I'm like debating whether like, okay, I'm just going to fucking lose my hair. I don't just care. Take you know. steroids. Just take fucking steroids. Just, and just shoot it right my into shit. my dick. It doesn't do that to everybody, yeah, though. Start from man. the dick. Because I didn't lose hair. I just got a stupid amount of acne. No, but that's you, because you I ate like hair. shit. Yeah. I ate like shit. <laughs> you lost eyebrow hair. I didn't work out. I didn't do any of that shit. So, yeah. All, man, all we're best friends, dude. All I want to do is. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Josh coming in with like these plucked out. <laughs> I stood up all night. <laughs> Guess what I was doing? All missing an eyebrow. Shit. <laughs> what happened, dude? I've been plugging my eyebrows, dude. <laughs> to stay in shape, I'm on testosterone. <laughs> That's doing this all night. No, it doesn't make you feel like it. It, de- it definitely gives you energy. Mm-hmm. Like I had energy like crazy. To be a so man. Tough. Energy and anger. Yep. And crazy sex drive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how people just don't live angry all the time. It's crazy. It's not good. It's not good for your heart. <clears throat> no, it's, it's not, not good yeah, for your... Up, well, on, your only, only way to live, though. No, it's not. On gripping, the edge. gripping your steering wheel all fucking... And your fucking teeth all fucking getting all tight and you grind in them and then you realize like what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, until they're flat like hippo teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. My gum to tooth ratio is like fucking ridiculous. Are you grinding your teeth at night? Oh yeah, bad. Damn. My tongue's my tongue's getting all swollen. Damn, I don't grind my teeth, but I do grind on my pillow at night. I'm just like grind <laughs> on my <laughs> All night. <laughs> you're spooning. You feel spooning. You're like, wow. Oh, and your kids are like, Dad, quit sleeping on the couch. <laughs> I was in a U shape. I was in a U shape. You back it up on a pillow. <laughs> With a little bumping round. Would you look back? Why are all these questions so gay? <laughs> on a pillow? That's not a man. It's a pillow. <laughs> you you would look, look back, back on a pillow. The pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you would look back all like. Mm. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. We'll move on from that. Yeah. What's the next story, Josh? <laughs> um. <laughs> The rest of it is just sad. Have you ever gotten too fucked up somewhere and uh, people told on you? Yeah, (laughs) I got got, shamed the next day. You got kicked out of somewhere with you and your wife or something? Oh, not as a, not as a, uh, I was like 21. That's a question, dude. I was like 21. Mm. And uh, my, my. Got kicked out? No, my younger cousin told me the whole thing, that the way I was acting and how shameful it was. And I remembered all of it. I was like, (laughs) oh, shit. (laughs) She goes, you, you were, you were dancing. Break dancing in the corner by yourself. Totally fine. Yeah. Drunk as shit, right? And then we're all leaving, and uh, we had a joint. People were passing it around, and I dropped the joint, and I started. I got on my hands and knees and <laughs> was looking for it, right? I was like, oh, the fuck is the joint? Like, yelling and shit. Like, where's that joint? Don't step on it. And I'm pushing people's <sighs> legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never seen you fucked up before. Yeah. And then I, fa- I found the joint, and I smoked the rest of it myself. It was all, like, fucking dirt and shit. Mm-hmm. It's front yard. And then I, it's her, it's my truck. She's driving. Was this like two weeks ago? No, this was like <laughs> 2005, maybe. So oh, maybe okay. I'm not 
Damn, uh, 2005. How old were you at that point? Yeah, ago. maybe 19. Uh, so anyway, and then uh, wow. And then I go pull over, pull over, pull over, and she pulled over, and I just brought out. I was it was somebody's front yard, and they were in the yard. Oh my god! Yeah, watching me, and they're uh. like, "Hey!" And she's like, "Get in the car, get in the fucking car!" And I like stumbled back in, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh, I woke up. Uh, pants down. No, I woke up in the middle room, <laughs> and she had told my uncle everything that she had to deal with that night, and so he woke me up with like eggs and bacon and all this fucking but it was like runny eggs and i wanted to throw up mm. she was like you're a fucking idiot you were looking for a joy and you know how embarrassing that was you look fucking stupid fuck you i was like all right cool <laughs> cool you didn't cuss her out did i find nah. it <laughs> no because i i are lame i was remembering everything i was like oh fuck that yeah mm. <clears throat> terrible oh, that's how i cousin. met your mother so <laughs> that's <laughs> Poor, yeah, man, she saw me throw, throw up like five or six times. It was always drinking and then smoking after. She's like, stop mm. doing that. Smoke and then drink. Don't fucking do the reverse. Drink before you, like, even like, like remember the like little rhymes, you know? Yeah. Beer before liquor, you couldn't be sicker. Uh, liquor before beer, you're never clear. clear. Yeah. Oh. If you, if you drink and then you smoke, you're going to blow a bloke. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> and if you Here's smoke before joint. you drink, you're a twink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. Uh, a salty twink. Uh, I've seen you <laughs> fucked up. You, th- nah, you threw up like crazy on hmm. uh, tequila. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, was more of a, that was more of like a reaction. I wasn't fucked up. I'm break. <laughs> If you drink a glass yeah, of tequila, yeah, he just watched Chandra's fucked. set. So, yeah. <laughs> if you drink a cup of tequila, you that's you're getting fucked up. No, I wasn't fucked up. I just the taste was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it. I threw it up. <laughs> Actually, I spit it out. Really, I mean, I, all, the, all the other shit was theatrics. I had to wash it out with vomit. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I had to wash it out with my stomach bile. <laughs> yeah, <was> dry. <laughs> yeah. it's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. You'll never get that one back, dude. It's hilarious, dude. That's all right, dude. Any good deed I ever do can it will never be overshadowed by that. What good deeds? <laughs> you ever done shit? I said if whatever good deeds I do do, not oh, that yeah. I have done. Oh yeah, take it back down. Whatever. <laughs> if uh, no, Josh made George chug a bunch of tequila one time. For money. I didn't make him. I offered. <laughs> no, he didn't make me. <laughs> I, no, he did. He made he him. stiff me. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> he stiffed oh, me. Oh, I forgot. That's what the bad part was. That he didn't have the money. No, the bad part was I told him a story and <laughs> he used it against me. <laughs> and then in my time of need, he, was, he didn't he didn't even own up to his side of the bargain and shit. <laughs> I gave you eleven dollars. <laughs> That's all I had. But uh, I had twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Asked me for change. I'm like, what? I, didn't ask I just told you I got no money. What I gave you eleven, and then I oh, I only have I, eleven for you, dude. And I gave you the nine later. It was two weeks later. Where I gave you nine dollars after that. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have it. I didn't have it on me. I thought I did. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. <sighs> you took your manhood. <laughs> y'all, y'all say y'all say that I'm like mean. I do stupid shit to like fuck with y'all. Josh is the king of that shit, bro. No. He's the king of that shit. You gotta have leverage. That's nah, the important he, part. <laughs> the last thing he did was he like stood us up. He was like, "Oh yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry about it." We, me and Raul were here. We're like, hey, where you at? He's like, "I'm not gonna go." <laughs> oh, so yeah. like, well, fuck, dude. What? I was here. I just wasn't going to kill Tony. Mm. No. No, you weren't here. We had, oh. we had waited for you for like an hour and some Oh, change. I was driving here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> Josh you're... was like, oh, I, I just woke up. Like, we could have podcasted before, but we didn't. He was like, oh, I, I just woke up. Um, plus, I, like, I need to feed the family, so. Maybe oh, you were driving from San Antonio. No, I was driving here. No, he was here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, you set this up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I wouldn't even be here. We were supposed <laughs> to podcast after Kill Tony. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That was the agreement. Yeah. Which there were none. Well, this this week and next week, there's no Kill Tony. 
Oh uh, boy, I do it. I do that. You do too, and I know that you wanted us to like be taught a lesson or something. Like no, that. I I I <clears throat> looked it up last time. Oh, actually, I found out, and I told you guys. Yeah, yeah. But this week and next week, I just found out like when you got here. Mm-hmm. There's there's something wrong with me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in this abusive relationship. <laughs> <laughs> there really is. You're blaming yourself. Yeah, I am. It's my fault. Your boundaries, you just like you don't have any. <laughs> you can't you can't victim blame yourself, Raul. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is a bad person, but we don't have to put up with that. You know what I mean? We yeah, choose the, to be here. You don't have to let him be your Ike Turner. But he's gonna change, yeah. though. <laughs> keep keep he's believing. Gonna leave his wife. <laughs> keep telling <laughs> yourself that. Because Josh is like, I wouldn't do it if you would just listen. <laughs> <laughs> he's never gonna leave his family for you, dude. I know. That's what I'm starting to realize. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, he's never really good. He's never going to leave. You're right. Here I am. And two years later. On the road again. Here I am. I said I was sorry for that, though, right? No. Nah. No, oh, sorry for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> dude. You're like the king of, like, <laughs> I can't punch you in the face because you probably didn't mean it, you know? Yeah, well, that one I meant. Mm. Yeah, the no, one no, no. when you were snoring and you like in, like invaded my dream. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't the one I deserved to punch. No, I know, but it's like, bro, you got in my. I psych- thought you were. Gonna, my I thought, psyche. I thought you were gonna punch me when I scratched your brand new Jeep. Oh yeah, damn! I still see it every day too. Because <laughs> <laughs> the shape of it, just for no reason. Too, I didn't, dude. I there was no a, reason for him to even scratch it. It was an accident. No, it was carelessness, bro. Like disrespectful. Oh, you the door or what? Yeah. No, it was. We went to Home Depot to buy something, and my son came with us. And it was I forgot what piece of what? metal we had. It was the inside, this little scratch. Mm-hmm. And then um, my I didn't want my son to scratch it, so I was like, I'll hold it. And then when we exited the vehicle, the mm. corner scratched, and it was probably like about that long of a scratch mm. on the inside. And it, I was like, I looked for it, and I was like, man. And I turned, and he's like looking right at it. And I was like, Fuck. I was like, and I was like, oh, I was good. And I started like fucking rubbing it. And it wasn't coming out. And I was like, Fuck, my bad, bro. And he's like, If it wasn't, if it was somebody else, if it was somebody else. I was like, What the fuck does that mean? Oh, because it was like the second day that I that I got it. Yeah, you just brand, brand new. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And, th- and the thing is, every every time I get like a new car, I'll tell Josh, Hey, I'm gonna swing by. He brings his whole family out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every single time, dude. Every, every time I get a new car. Everybody comes to George's car, the Camaro. The Camaro. <laughs> and my wife gave him shit. Like, what it's the gay, fuck? It's gay. You're gay. <laughs> Fucking a, like, red, a, a, red. a red convertible. You're gay. <laughs> I did feel gay after that, though. <laughs> Every time I ride with Josh, <laughs> I'm, I'm bumping gadgets all on, he's all on his phone. <laughs> like, he's like my bitch waiting for me. While, <laughs> while I'm bumping gas. What do you want to do for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> he's side saddle sitting on yeah. the <laughs> This is on one cheek. How, why are your legs crossed, Josh? There had to be at least a few people who saw you yelling at me in the convertible. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, dude. For multiple things, but yeah. one one in particular yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you posted that today. I did, yeah. yeah. It was crazy, yeah. <laughs> Larry made that that um that meme or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> when you translate it. When, when, like when you speak just enough <laughs> to know that your translator's not saying exactly what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it was a perfect moment. Yeah. He must have <laughs> saw the fucking video and like, you know, chopped it up. Well, I think it's everybody saw it because the thumbnail they used on it looked like you had no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smiling and shit. I remember that one, yeah. Something terrible happened to me and I'd rather not talk about it on TV. <laughs> 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 right when you said that, my face, did, my, my face was like, like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Bring it up. The picture? Yeah, the picture. <laughs> not, not those pictures. <laughs> Start me up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he just said. It. I was like, "What?" <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. You can tell my the phone. How long ago was this? That one? I don't know. The other one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one was 2017. That one I don't know. Who the fuck took that picture? Who was that fucking asshole? Larry? Uh, he he Larry? He, he screenshotted it from from the video. 
<laughs> and Larry also took that picture of me <laughs> taking a shit too. He was like, "Hey, bitch!" And I looked up, and he had a flash on me. I was like, "You stupid bitch!" You covered your dick. <laughs> I had to cover my dick. It was fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> he had a boner on taking his shit. Now I was looking up some nasty shit though. I I know he was looking, bro. That guy was always kind of funny. You know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I heard, like he's so blatant with it too. He was all like this. Like hitting the fucking uh, thing, and then he climbed up on the thing and brought it over. <coughs> it was like, "Hey, bitch, where was that at?" I was in uh, North Carolina, in uh, Take your shirt on Greensboro. Mm. Tom Simmons got hit by a fucking car that night. Oh yeah, it was crazy. Oh my god, hit by a car? What do you mean? Like on foot? On foot? Yeah, we were crossing the street. He was he was like he was like a little bit of uh, like ahead of me. And uh, we were walking from one theater to the next, and uh, <clears throat> I see him on the ground yelling at some fucking dude. He's like, I didn't even fuck you. You don't want to cross blah, blah, blah. And this guy had, like, ran ahead of me, <clears throat> and Larry was like, dude, you just get hit by a fucking car? He was telling us, yeah, it, it lifted me off my feet and fucking, yeah. And then he did a set right after that. It was fucking bananas. It was all about the, <laughs> it was all about the car. <laughs> what did you send me on Instagram? Oh. Us. You put us. And yeah, you check it out. This. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Can, can people see that? Yeah, yeah. people saw it. Personas con tu misma enfermedad mental. Oh no, that is Spanish. Jeez, that guy Portuguese. grabbed the back of his head. No, I got wow. you some more too. You surround yourself with people with your same mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, so I, did old. Old. Yeah. I did send you that one. I did send you that one, dude. Why not? <laughs> that's funny. We were brought that up. That's fucking crazy. I'm not gonna watch your kids. <laughs> you go out every night. You go out every night. I'm on another I, Saturday for me. I I did my kids. <laughs> yeah, I did my kids. <laughs> when they make it sound like the, it's a penance. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what was that thickness up there? Mm-mm. No, <laughs> I knew it. Go ahead, go. Ah, go ahead. no! Yeah, you no, already you're showed us that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you're 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 cool, dude. <laughs> Have you seen this, Mike? I've seen this. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Damn, she has great calves, <laughs> dude. <laughs> For those that's, of you just listening, he's yeah, still here, dude. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Some ladies taking a piss standing up. That's all it is. Not the end of it, I guess. But there's some bad bitches. <laughs> Who's this one? POV. Oh, this is hilarious. This is cracking me up. <laughs> there's so many pretty girls here, guys. And yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> I can't hold it. I cannot do that. <laughs> no, no, bro. Why, bro? No. What's the problem, bro? Hi, miss. Uh, can I get your number? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's so good. This oh, my God. What's up, baby girl? No. <laughs> 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 No. Uh, gay guys play making, the same. Making fun of gates. I mean, straight dudes. Yeah, hilarious. gay guys do the same thing that you do. What? It's the reverse. You, don't want you always do like these gay jokes. <laughs> They're doing straight jokes. Yeah, see. Yeah. It goes, dude. You got to give a little to, to get a little. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> what's up, bro? <laughs> You know what? I feel offended. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's so good. He's laughing, going, ching, chong, ching. <laughs> oh, like, hey, so man. Good, <laughs> you don't sound like that. <laughs> Yo, can I get your number? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Single tear. Oh, oh, so good, dude. <laughs> I sent you a bunch on Twitter, too, dude. Twitter's a little bit more illegal, though. Y'all are nasty. <laughs> 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 yeah. Which one? This bottom one? Election 2006? Nah, I don't know. That's something for just being you. 
Specifies he coded computers to rig election in 2006. Yeah. Who was running in 2006? Please state your full name. Ob know. Obama, right? It's not necessarily no. the presidential election. Just oh. Elections in general. That was 08. And what is your profession? Yeah, this is in 2006, oh, yeah. so there was no election in 2006. In so, so it would have been one testimony. of the Bush elections. Bush, Bush and Kerry? Mr. Curtis, one of them, are there yeah. programs that can be used to secretly <laughs> fix elections? Yes. How do you know that to be the case? Because in October of 2000, I wrote a prototype for President Congressman Tom Feeney at the company I worked for in Oviedo, Florida, that did just that. And when you say just, did just Whoa. that, it would that makes sense. It would be more would local vote, stuff than whatever. But. Whoever you wanted it to go Damn, to it's a long video. Why'd you send me? I didn't expect to. Because he knew you would jerk off to it. <laughs> 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 Election fraud, I do like that. I yeah. Because he's your friend and he knows you. What's this one? This is just something I found that people really enjoy. It's it's like when I go to Costco sometimes, Costco. I feel like this. We also saw that we go, but we had yeah, to I get think, the goods from Costco first. I think everybody thinks I'm on So we got a lot of motherfucking chicken. And just FYI, I do. I go to a grocery store like every two days, three days. Mm. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh, well. oh, you have kids. Well, I have kids, but also like I go buy meat and everything. Like I, I purchase food by meal. Mm. So I was like, oh, we need all this. It's just like, no, this is what I want to feel like making. I Better. do it for the week. And then I do it for the week. I live by myself, so it's not hard. Mm. You trade time, though, for it. Um, it's relaxing. I prefer to go to the fucking grocery you store. Get, you want to get away from your family. I get it. I take them a lot of, a lot of the time. It's just walking around. Big booty bitches on there. Yeah, you, let, you <laughs> let your wife take your kids. Uh, go you get a pan dulce or something. And you go villain. look at the... You're in the... <laughs> The mother section. I'm in the, the frozen section. Taking something all the time. so innocent about like feeding your family, is you, you turn it into like in this bad hose there at all. And I go during like yoga classes are over next door. <laughs> Bison back bitches, as far as I can see, <laughs> dog. <laughs> loose fitting titties going around everywhere. Mm, <laughs> loose fitting that. titties. <laughs> Nah, nobody wears bras. Do your titties hang? But I made oh, loose right, fitting Josh, titties. Yeah. No, go to that one. Go this down. One? Yeah, yeah, this one is especially for you. Oh, <laughs> dude! I saw this one. Did, did you see it? Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, I did. Because I, I know. No, they can't. I don't want to show it. Why not? <laughs> so they're in Vegas or something, and it's a uh, show it real quick and then cut away. No, they're making love in the other room. They could see him, and Roll's not gonna expect this, but <laughs> 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 they thought they were watching two a man and woman have sex. No, it's two men. No, no, no. I already seen it. He sent it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, they want to be seen. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I think they're just playing the odds. Like, what are the odds? What's this one? I don't know. Band of oh, that's the one where she falls into the lava. In the lava. Oh, my God. Damn. Have you seen I that, Mike? I want to see nope. that again. I have not seen that. Mike's seen it. Poor lady. Oh, fuck. The music kind of ruins it, but. Yeah, it's really like that. She's trying to get a picture or some shit. And it's lips and, f and then a fireball. Oh, shit. I. Her whole, she falls into the, yeah. the hole, yeah. She falls into the lava. Wee! Ah! Yeah, you can't do that, lady. No. Yeah, Trump was on uh, Andrew Schultz's podcast. Yep. He's, he's supposed to be on. He's supposed to be on Rogan's podcast too. This is the um, same thing that um, fucking Bill Clinton did when he did Arsenio Hall's uh, and show. and played saxophone. Yeah, yeah. He's making the rounds of the kids, you know. That's fucking crazy, though. The 40-year-olds. Kamala won't even go on Breakfast Club or anything. She was on Breakfast Club already. Mm. Why would she go back? <clears throat> she was? Yeah. Breath. Mm. Damn. Mandela. Uh, what is it? Mandela effect? Damn, dude, you got rowdy Mandela. Oh, no, she was on. Your questions, okay? Open up your iHeart radio. It was recently. And search for. This was a day ago. Nah, bro. Nah, she was lying, on like bro. a like nah, a year bro, ago. You're lying, bro. Yeah. Lying. I saw the clips. Lying, bro. Go to videos. We go up. Oh, she plans a Detroit town hall with the Breakfast Club. Boom. Nah, Mandela nah, effect. Nah, scroll, scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Fucking yes. Go to videos. Vijitos. Oh, there yeah. you go. This was in yeah 2020. Yeah, so yeah. she was on. Damn. And then go down. Just so ashamed. 2019. 
G oh. comes on every year. Freddie missing. And Bill Maher wanted to get on. Wait a minute, that's CGI. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying her. She changed her her like her dialect and stuff. That's just code switching. Yeah. <laughs> when I go down to the valley, yeah, when you code switch, no. When I go down the valley, Look to I, here in the brisk lip. I talk a little different. <laughs> it happens. Do you? I not on purpose. It just starts to come out. Mm. Which was the real you, though? The one yeah. in the valley. The yeah, black exactly. Game? No, the one in the valley. <laughs> oh. That's the one that says the N word. <laughs> <laughs> Say my nigga. I don't know. I think the black you was more you. No. The Cuban one was you. Cuban, Cuban you was The you. Cuban me is the one I wanted to be, but that wasn't me. Mm. How does Wesleyan you sound? How do you know that? Uh, Maybe you're not. It right comes now. out every once in a while. I can't like. Uh, just... like hey, okay, over there. No, gonna... no, no the, the... <laughs> <laughs> no, he, yeah, he like chops it up different. Yeah, the words are the words are choppier. The and, and closer together. Yeah. Mm. Words are pronounced a little differently. Like, Vix Vapor Rub, he says Vix Vaporu. No. Vix <laughs> Vaporu. Hey, uh, get a little stuffed up over here. Get a little Vix Vaporu. <laughs> you should give Vix Vaporu ball over your chest. Vix Vaporu. Mm. And instead of thunder, he says great wind god. <laughs> 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 well, we made the, the rocket gods angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's subtle, but it's there. It, uh, mm. it rumbled my house and made my Vix Vapor Rub fell off the. <laughs> Chief <laughs> Thick Hips. Chief Chief Mug holder <coughs> Runs like woman <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well what shows you guys got Come oh, on man Come on man, dude Fuck you dog <laughs> <laughs> It's always like this with you dude <laughs> The um you ever watch the Wendy's training videos? No, what's Wendy's training videos? Uh, they're <laughs> short. There's a, a two minute. Let's put Wendy's training videos in YouTube. Who that is? And Cold Drinks Brothers is, is the best one to watch. Like, what is this? Oh, Wendy's training videos. Yeah, the one you were playing. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Cold. Are you ready? Here we go. Soft drinks, lemonade, water, cold tea. It's up to you. It's up Look to at you. that bitch. They're just trying to get it. You, you remember Biggie? Yeah. Biggie size? Damn, when they got rid of Biggie size? Mm. Writing mm. lyrics like that? Yeah. I done. A lot of work went into this, I think. This is in the 80s, too. Yeah. It's all about cold drinks. That w- well, keep playing it. Like, go from there. From your, right there. Dude, I thought that was Paula. It Paula right. Abdul. It's like a fake Paula Abdul song. Did, did, did. Hand that drink to the coordinator and tell the guest you'll see him later. <laughs> what? This part, the breakdown. Don't forget to smile when you serve cold drinks. <laughs> you know the That's best. from the bathroom. Use shitty water from right? the bathroom. <laughs> Back when they would use shitty water, spit in the water. Who gives a fuck? You <laughs> can do it now, too, lady. Yeah. <laughs> she was good. She right? was in the island of Dr. Moreau. It's like a, like a young Faruza Walk. Who's that? Mm-hmm. Uh, Waterboy, mm-hmm. The Craft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's who, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> she in Jawbreaker also? She's so gorgeous. I can't remember. Even now she's gorgeous. That movie always creeped me out when they had the Jawbreaker was in her throne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was Rose McGowan. Who was suffocating on Jawbreaker? Mm, no, she was one of the perpetrators. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rose McGowan, have you seen her now? Yeah. So I just talked to her the other day. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch is crazy. <laughs> I suck my dick in front of my face. <laughs> she shits in the yard. Uh, Weinstein's already behind bars. What else does she want? All right. <laughs> so what shows you got? Mm-hmm. Oh, you, are you starting start with me? Uh, whoever. Man, uh, go to George Anthony Comedy on Instagram uh, to find out what shows I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Suarez? Uh, follow me at Mike V. Suarez on the 16th. This probably won't be out by then, but we're doing Patrick's uh, Hot Damn Comedy at Laugh Out Loud. On the 24th, I'll be doing the Classy Trashy at the Stand in New York. And on the 25th, I'll d- be doing the Deco Ballroom here in San Antonio. Roll. I'm doing the station this Friday. Are they back? I don't know. I hope so. Okay. They're supposed to be. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Dope. Uh, I will be at... Uh, the 
uh, Black Rabbit Thursday, Friday will be Roscoe's and the Black Rabbit. So check those shows out. Uh, Black Rabbit off Fifth and Brazos, Roscoe's off of uh, I believe Seventh Street, but uh, a dope ass fucking Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. No, Roscoe's uh, the comedy club. Ooh. Ooh.